Continue tracking breaking news out of Warwick. Police say a man walked into the Warwick Police Department armed with a knife, assaulted an officer, and then was shot by police. Tonight, we're learning more about what happened inside that lobby and how officers are trained to react to a situation like this. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts is live outside the police department where police are still investigating at this hour. Amanda? Well, Mike Kim, police just announced a short while ago that that suspect is a 29 year old man who walked into that lobby with a knife and attacked officers, hitting one in the torso. Luckily, that officer's bulletproof vest is what saved them. An unusual scene at the Warwick Police Department Friday night as police investigate an incident inside their own lobby. Um, a suspect walked into Warwick Police Department. Uh, got into a disturbance some capacity in the lobby of the Warwick Police Station and pulled out a knife and allegedly slashed at one of the officers. Warwick Police say it was just before 4.30 this afternoon when a 29-year-old man lunged at officers with a knife, striking one in the torso. Luckily, that officer's bulletproof vest stopped any injury. Four officers then fired shots at the man, who police say is currently in stable condition at the hospital. That suspect was able to access the officers because police say they were in a community room that isn't protected. The lobby of the police station as you walk in is very secure when you walk inside the building to the left of the building there's a community room and it's my understanding that's where they run their roll call for spacing for COVID and it's not as secure as the as you walk inside the building because this is an officer involved shooting the attorney general's office has joined in on the investigation Friday night the state police mobile crime lab arrived on scene and detectives were seen inside and outside the lobby entrance 12 News law enforcement analyst and former head of the state police Steve O'Donnell says something like this is unusual but does happen. It's highly unusual that somebody would walk into a police station and fight with the police and the alternative what happens happened. Um, but it happens. Um, it's just another wake up call for the police. I think the police are always on guard. On guard and prepared for situations like this. So it could be somebody that's verbally disrespect in the police, there's a certain way of handling that with the use of force. But as soon as a weapon, that's a deadly weapon, which is a knife, is pulled on the police, it escalates to deadly force right away. And apparently that's what happened in this situation. Again, police say no officers were injured in this incident, and that suspect is in stable condition tonight. Live in Warwick, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.